Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are looking at the BJM Katahi Putter Grips. I want you to watch this before purchasing a brand new grip. There's so many out there, it's the most used club, get it right. Okay, so I found these grips online. I bought one for myself, popped it on my putter, but I've also purchased two more, and throughout this video, I'm gonna give you a chance to win one. Two winners, that is. But before that, you need to know the benefits of this, because it's not just the grip, it's a system. Let's get into the video. A few weeks ago, I put a video out showing you how you can choose the correct grip, but actually the correct grip on the putter, either way. So I'm gonna use the exact process right here in this video, but before that, let's talk about the Katahi putter grip. Now, the idea behind this is, in its simple terms, it takes your wrists out the shot. Now have a look at that. I sort of describe this putter as an upside down one. You've sort of got your rib bit on the front and it's thicker underneath. Now I told you, it's, it's not just a grip, it's a system. Like if I bring up my other putter here over the top, you can see the profile of the putter is totally different to what I have in my hand. Please no innuendos. I'm talking about the thickness of a grip here. I know who you are. <laughs> Please tone down below in the comments. So when you're gripping this putter, and we grip it traditionally, we usually sort of put our palms together, don't we? I would sort of grip it like this, or even sort of left below right, but essentially my palms are facing each other. Now the idea behind this is we don't do that because our wrists have more motion in this. As we get older, sorry to say this, again, you may know who you are, the right hand for a right-handed player or the left hand for a left-handed player may tend to get involved. And we try forever. I even got one of my dad's mates who stopped playing golf now because he can't bear putting because the right hand gets involved too much. So the idea of this is it takes them out entirely. So when you're gripping this, and the reason I'm telling you this because this is the full review, but I want to show you how you hold it your best and then we're going to do the test that way. The idea is we have the palms facing the sky. They say at this point, your arms are less and hands have less ability to move, okay? Because of how they're locked into a position. When your palms are up, less mobility in the wrists as opposed to when they're facing each other. So really nice and simple. You're gonna grab it up and get it running parallel to the ground. Now, because it's thicker underneath, I want you to place it in the palm and that's what we're told to do. Look here, look how I've got it there. Now, if this putter grip wasn't that shape, that would be, in, well, I couldn't do it. It'd be uncomfortable. It'd feel horrendous if I'm perfectly honest. I'm used to having it there, but again, equally, it, it, it feels horrendous doing it that way around with this putter. So palm up to the sky and then you're gonna put, and then you're just gonna put your right hand on the same way, just like that. Again, palms not facing each other, they're facing the sky. Now, as I grip this here, my arms actually feel <laughs> like nicely locked in on the side of my body. And I feel like I can rock a little bit easier as opposed to sort of feeling like I'm waving around a bloody wand. Can you see the difference? Do you see the difference in sort of, okay, palms facing each other, what we're sort of used to doing, and then how this grip gets you more in this position? Now I have to say, it feels incredibly odd, but maybe it's something to it. Okay, I'm just gonna hit four putts away, get myself warmed up, and then we're gonna go through the exact process I did a couple of weeks ago, because let's find out if it's any good for my game, and if it's any good for you. Well, that's a good start, it's a nice putt. Getting warmed up, getting the pace of the greens. I do feel like I have the ability to rock a little bit easier, and therefore, potentially, find that middle more often. Right, let's get into the test. Now, as I'm going through this right now, I'm actually starting to think why this sort of aligns quite nicely to my game. Hands get a bit overactive sometimes. I don't always hit the center of the face on longer putts. This is all about you rocking better from a better grip and a better grip, so grip, thickness, grip, design, and grip, how you hold it, um, and getting you moving from your thoracic. Okay, so the test is simple. I've done a putter length around there and created a box around the hole. We're gonna hit one from 15, 20, 30, and 40 feet. Because we've got a putter grip, it has to be able to work from distance and on those little tiddlers, the pressure puts. Okay, so as I'm going through this, does this sound like a putter grip that would help you? Think about what I said at the start. Are you a golfer who struggles with your putting? 
Think about this closely, really pay attention. Okay, let's start this test. So my idea is if I can get every single one in this box, this is starting to put some green ticks into it being a good putter for me. Go through your process, grip, grip, palms up, bow over, gets me rocking from the thoracic, less hands involved. I really do feel a bit like that. Nice pace, ball one. This sounds crazy and this shouldn't make a difference, but I know it will. I feel a bit stupid how I'm stood to it. And <laughs> it really shouldn't make a difference that I know, but it definitely things that go through our brain. That's right out the middle, that. I can tell by that noise. Well, they're pretty good, aren't they? I do. Let me hit one more putt here. Yeah. Do you know what I like about this? At the, at so far, okay, just outside. I often, and I've said this before when I'm playing golf, I change grip, but you can't do it. You have to commit to one grip. You have to commit to one style. Commit to it being more this way. Hands feel quite upright. Okay, that was out the middle again. Okay. Four very decent putts. So let's now test it on the short ones and see how it fares. Sorry to interrupt you part way through this review. I wanna tell you how you can get your hands on one of these BGM Katahi putter grips. No matter wherever you are in the world, this is how you can. And please, please, please do this. I want you to benefit, but also it helps me grow this channel and it's something I really want to do. Okay, so really nice and simple. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the share button. Copy the link, share it to anybody, whether it's WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, it's that button just down below. And then get in those comments saying, done. I'll pick one at random a week from now. Let's get back to the review and see how I get on on the short putts. Good luck. We've got our must make zone. We've got three feet, five feet, seven feet, nine feet. And I'm just gonna see how it fares and how it feels on here. So far, yeah, I, I like it. it. Again, I'm gonna mention it again. I just, I feel like people might look at me funny, but should that matter? It shouldn't really, should it really? If it goes in the hole, that's all that matters. Right, okay. Let's give it a test and give us our full opinion after this. Just thought it was good to grab this and just show you again. See how my nut, no oh, I've got mud on me. Terrible. Look how my traditional one, what I'm used to, and I think probably what most of us are used to is this sort of flat top one. Have a look at that profile compared to that. I actually thought first time I had it, you should put it on that way around. It seemed the best, but I can see now with palms up how the thickness underneath really does help. Right, these are your ones, aren't they? If your right hand gets involved with a right-handed player, these are the ones that give you sleepless nights when this is for to beat your handicap or shoot level with your handicap, whatever it is. Okay, so palm up. Palm up, over. That came off, wasn't a great putt. Don't know if that was me or the green, just didn't feel good. I'm gonna really try to stick to the method they're using and not creep into anything else. I do feel like it's easy to lock those arms on the side of the body but without tension. So two really nice putts in there. Two, I don't know if one was the green or one was me, I don't know this time of year. But two of them felt really, really nice. From distance, it felt really, really good. Overall opinion, let's go. So as I said when I first did this test, that you should do this complete test from distance and close up with two different grips, two different putters, whatever you want to choose, to really give you an overall understanding of what one feels better. Now, can I see the benefits of this grip? The answer to that question is yes. I can feel how it would get you to be less handsy because you're sort of, not hands are locked, but they're not in a position where they can move and rotate as much and it really encourages you to rock more like a, a baby here. So I can really see how it would help. The problem I have with it for me is that I put it the other way for so long now, this feels quite different. 
overall review is I think this is very good for your game if someone that you're struggling with your putting, you need something new to look at and you want to get more rocking with the shoulders, definitely a grip that would help you.